Hey everyone, welcome to the September 2023 Temecula Marietta and Menifee Housing Market Report. I'm sure you've heard about the housing shortage and the rising interest rates. If you're wondering how that's affecting our local housing market, you came to the right place. I'm Shane Bernal, your Southern California real estate agent. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home in any of these cities, we do this report every month and I highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming reports with the latest and greatest housing market info for Marietta, Temecula, and Menifee. If you wanna see homes for sale in these cities, there's a link for each city in the description below. All right, here we go, starting with the number of homes sold. Despite the lack of inventory last month in August, we sold 119 homes in Temecula, compared to 95 in July for an increase of 25% month over month. In Marietta, we had 111 homes sold in August and compared to 121 sold in July, which works out to be 8% less homes sold in August than in July. Over in Menifee, we sold 127 homes last month compared to 105 in July for a 21% increase month over month. Now let's look at how many homes were sold last year compared to this year for the month of August. In Temecula, we had 13% less home sales this year than last. In Marietta, we had 23% less. And Menifee had 24% less home sales in August of this year compared to August of last year. So the number of homes sold is down in all three cities year over year. Let's talk about inventory, which is how many homes are actively for sale. At the end of August, there were 186 homes actively for sale in Temecula compared to 191 at the end of July, which is a decrease of about 3%. Last year in August, there were 374 homes actively for sale in Temecula compared to only 186 this year. So we had 50% less homes for sale at this time compared to last year at this time. In Marietta, we had 176 homes actively for sale at the end of August compared to 177 in July, which works out to be about a half a percent drop. Last year in August compared to this year in August, however, we had 61% less homes actively for sale in Marietta. Month over month in Menifee, we had 228 homes actively for sale at the end of August compared to 242 homes at the end of July, which is about a 6% drop. And when comparing last August to this August, we are down 51%. So inventory is down significantly for the year across all three cities. If you're looking to buy a home, don't let the shortage of inventory deter you. There are some really nice homes for sale and we have a very high success rate when it comes to getting our clients offers accepted. So if you're looking to buy a home, give us a call, we'd love to help you. Okay, let's talk about interest rates. Interest rates have continued their upward trend. Last month in August, 30-year fixed mortgage rates bounced around from as low as about 7% to as high as 7.5%. A little side note, the last time the 30-year mortgage rate was that high was about 23 years ago. At the time of filming this on September 5th, rates are at 7.21%. Prices, we did not have a lot of movement in prices month over month. The median price in Temecula went up about 1% from July to August. In Marietta, there was a very small 0.3% decrease. In Menifee, prices went up about 1% from July to August. Now let's take a look at prices this year compared to last year. From last year to this year, prices are up 4% in Temecula, they're up 5% in Marietta, and down 2% in Menifee compared to last year at this time. From the peak of the market, Temecula is down 6%, Marietta is down just 3%, and Menifee is down 7%. So in summary, as far as prices go, not much change month over month. Prices are up a little this year compared to last year, but they are still below the peak. Another thing we like to keep an eye on is how long these houses are taking to sell, also known as average days on market. Since the beginning of the year, this number has been trending down. In other words, homes are selling faster now than they were at the beginning of the year. Month over month, days on market in Temecula dropped. In July, homes were selling in 28 days. In August, that dropped to 25. In Marietta, we went from 25 days in July to 24 in August, so not much change there. Menifee had the biggest decrease, going from 41 days on market in July to 34 in August. One thing to keep in mind for this stat is that it is an average. 
Homes can sell much faster or take longer to sell than the average. For example, a remodeled home with a big backyard and a pool that's priced competitively will usually sell much quicker than a home that doesn't have those features, especially if it's not priced accordingly. Next, we're gonna look at list price compared to sales price. This shows us how much above or below the original list price these homes are selling for. As you'll see, on average, homes sold for very close to 100% of the original list price in all three cities. Last month in Temecula, on average, homes sold for 0.2% below list price. In Marietta, homes sold for 0.7% above list price. And in Menifee, 0.5% above list price. If you're considering selling, buying, relocating, or investing, click the link below to schedule a call. We've helped many families with their real estate needs, and we'd love to help you too. Don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these important updates. Thanks for watching and we look forward to talking with you soon.